Welcome back all you sofers and sophies and welcome back to the sofery. Also, I'm Heather here. Uh what we're going to do today is I'm making two 6-inch uh soap cakes again. Um can only make two right now at this time cuz I only have two more more on their way. Um the first cake is gonna be the black raspberry vanilla from be scented fragrance oil I think she has the best now other people might disagree but I think it smells the most like Bath and Body Works and also Island Escape from be scented um, <clears throat> it has 0.42 percent vanillin in it so it should discolor a little bit but I'm hoping not much. I've never used that oil before. This black raspberry vanilla I know doesn't this color. Um, for the embeds on top, for the island escape, I have these little fish, different colors, and I have some like um, seaweed and coral pieces in here. And then for the Black raspberry vanilla is easy. I'm going to put this little raspberry, black raspberry on top in the middle. And then I have just little raspberries to go around. Um, colors. For the black raspberry, I'm using Northern Lights from Nurture Soap for the purple. And I'm using the Black Pearl from Nurture Soap for a black swirl. They will be drop swirls. And for the island uh, escape from Nurtures for blue, I'm using the cashmere. And for the green, I'm using sea green from Nurtures. So I'm just going to get this all emulsified, blend it up, and then separate it into two uh, cakes. And then I need um, two and a half pounds in each one because it's a five pound recipe. It does two of the six inch cakes and it has frosting, enough leftover for the frosting. And then I'm keeping some to the side of the white for the frosting on top. So, um... I have my base oils in here, uh, and I have kaolin clay and tussa silk and salt in my lye. So let's just get that blended in here, and we'll get started.
rest of these in. If you are splitting your recipes, I mean, you do have to, it takes practice. Because if you're used to just making one and, you know, not worrying about having to split it off and because your recipe is made for one batch, you have to split your fragrance oils and remember to do that. Believe me, I have almost, you know, sometimes I do forget and I'm like, oh my God, I needed to split that fragrance oil. And then I'm kind of up the creek without a power. I always do this when I'm making these. I never put it on a cookie sheet. So, let me just get this one in here. I don't know why I always do this. Now I just want to kind of take a spoon here and just kind of marry it together a little bit. I mean, it swirled pretty good in the pot or as I was doing the drop swirls, so no big deal. Okay, so that's going to stay like that. Let that set up. Let's spray it. That needs to sit a little longer for the frosting, so we'll put that over here. We'll bring the other mold over for the other ones. We're gonna kind of push this back here. Okay. <clears throat> so now we're gonna be really crowded, but that's all right. I can't wait till I move my soap studio room whatever you want to call it around because this just isn't working for me anymore put these end bits to the side and we'll put these back push that back okay bring these back into camera all right now black raspberry vanilla Bring the fragrance. Get my stick blender. Okay. Break this up into things here. We'll get this mixed in. one get a little bit in here that should be plenty put some more purple some of the black gray whatever you want to call it a little bit more white 
and the rest of the colors. It smells so good. I love black raspberry vanilla, but it's like one of those scents. Who doesn't like it? If I did want this a true black, I would have used black iron oxide and activated charcoal mix, but I didn't want it very black. So we're just going to take the spoon, move it around, nothing too difficult, bang it down, which I know nothing came over anyway, or any air bubbles. Okay, so let's hit it with some alcohol. Get these uh, things in piping bags, which we are set up. Actually, I want to use this one here in here. So let me clean off my spatula. One thing good too about um making small recipes is it sets up very fast especially for piping it's like before you know it you're ready to go i couldn't have been more perfect than that believe me even after going on 17 years of knowing how to make soap, you still misjudge and mismeasure. Don't be too hard on yourself. By the time I'm done decorating this one, this one will be ready in the bag. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it a while. Get your bucket scraped out. Every all you soapers, it makes easier cleanup. I don't know about you, but I hate to do dishes. I want to get a dishwasher in my soap studio so bad. This one. I think I'm going to just kind of stack it up like a big cake, like a big mound. I'm just going to do it with dollops. We're going to start on the outside. I'm just going to keep going around. Get the middle in here. Boom. Okay. Now we'll start building the center. I kind of want to put like the fish up the sides, like they're swimming up. So we need a pretty big. So, so just keep building. Use 
And go in here with some little guys. Curl my bag over. Right to me. All right, that little bit we will definitely find that hole. Excuse me. Okay, let's spray it. Then we can decorate it. So we have. Two of these seed grasses. I'm just kind of lay it in there. Like that. Got this other one on this side. Kind of plop her on in there. Doesn't need to be perfect. Now fishies. Let's see which ones I want to use. Hmm. I'm to put them right here on the ends. Put them there. This little orange one. This one will look the best on top. I'll kind of sit it there like that. I don't know if I want to stand it up or lay it down. I think I'm going to lay her down.
that one is the island. Escape? Yeah, island escape. Okay, now let's do black raspberry. Move this one over here. How do I kind of want to? I think I want to put that down like that. But I'm going to spray her. Kind of push it in there. I won't see it anyway. There. Yeah, because that's a too heavy of an embed to just plop it down on something. Okay, we're just going to go one more time around, right in between. Not really big ones. <coughs> Excuse me. That's all we're going to do. So, let's get this guy decorated now. So, I'm going to put like... These I usually divvy into... Um, six pieces... I cut it in half, and then I cut it in thirds. So, I'm going to put the berries, two on each slice, right there. And then, this one goes about right here. These things are so little. And... Half, so these should go about right here, and then one half it, so these should go about right here, and then right here. Sorry, I talk to myself. And my dogs keep barking. They're not in the room, so don't worry. I just have my 
you were cracked to hear what was going on. Expecting a shipment today, so I don't want to miss it. All right, that's all I'm going to, I'm going to keep that simple, but we're going to put some purple big pearls on it. <clears throat> I'm just going to put two pearls on each slice down here to give it a little bit more decoration, but not too, too much. more here. Okay, so now it's too much. I don't want to go overboard. That's it. These are, are my soap cakes. I'm going to do some Valentine ones. They're coming up on the next video. So this is my Island Escape soap cake and this is my black raspberry and vanilla. I still have the strawberry, ouch, excuse me. I still have the strawberry and champagne one. I'll show you that. This was on the last soap cake video. I still have this one, the coconut one. The citrus Thai coconut is gone. So I do soap cakes to custom orders, fragrances, what you want on top, everything, colors. Um, you can either have them cut by me or I can just send them to you whole. That's what most people do is get them sent whole. And then either you can cut them yourself or like a lot of people keep them for decorations. And then when they get sick of it, they use it. Remember, the longer soap sits, the better it gets. So here's what I have right available now. This one is available for purchase right now. Um, I'm going to list it on the website, so if you want it, go over there and grab it. Um, these will be ready in four weeks. So, these will be listed then. Uh, the price of them are $30, or you get two for $50, so then you get five off of each. So, you save $10. Um, they are very pretty to look at. Again, remember, I can do anything you want. So, I'm going to end this video here. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. All the, um, things that I used will be down in the description box. Please like the video and subscribe it would I would really appreciate it and I will see you guys for the next batch